Uh, Stephen says, what is a loading coil? I suppose uh, when I think of that, it's pretty much making a antenna shorter, just loading yeah. it. I I could explain that, but I think Adam probably could do it better. <laughs> that's going to be the t- that's going to be. Yeah, we're going to talk yeah. about ask, antennas. You might as well just put Adam up on the screen and so let fun. it go, Aiden. <laughs> ask the mechanical engineer to make a fool of himself. Um, no, so <laughs> so the the um, a, a loading coil is just uh, an inductor placed in series with the antenna uh, somewhere. Um, generally speaking, they are a bit more efficient. Uh, if you don't place them at the base of uh, a quarter wave, you know, or well, what it will be electrically equivalent to a quarter wave antenna. Um, but placing the loading coil at the base is, is easier to build. At any rate, it's, it's a big inductor and you try to make that inductor as, as efficient and low loss as possible. When you put that loading coil in there, you end up with a less efficient overall radiator of an antenna because you, you simply have less size and uh, you know less uh, efficient radiation coming off of that antenna. So um, you also tend to sacrifice bandwidth as well. So your usable bandwidth is going to shrink. But it's just a big inductor placed in series with the antenna. Here's here's a layman's way to describe it. And Adam, you can you're you're perfectly uh, perfectly okay to tell me I'm wrong. But here's here's what seriously seriously I'm not making a joke because I joke around all the time. So. An antenna for a certain band, like 80 meters, 40 meters, 20 meters, whatever, has to be a certain length. So you take that length of antenna, let's say it's 132, 133 feet for 40 meters, okay? You take that length of antenna and you have to have 133 meter or 133 feet worth of wire for that antenna. Well, if your backyard's only 50 or 75 feet across, you don't have 133 feet. So you take part of the antenna and you wrap it around a coil to shorten the antenna. There's still that much wire in the antenna it's still 133 feet but part of it is wrapped around a coil instead of spread out from end to end so that the so that the physical length of the wire is the same but the actual length of the wire is shorter because part of it's wrapped around a coil and then you get the proper swr and impedance on the antenna for whatever band you're trying to work um yeah it 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 ends up being close to that. Yeah, you, you actually do end up needing technically more wire when yeah, you put a loading yeah, coil in. It's not an exact um, science, but yes, yeah, you're right. But that that's that's kind of a maybe a way to to sort of envision it. That that extra wire in that coil does this kind of functions in a similar way as having that wire stretched out would. It adds mm-hmm. adds inductance and um, and you it it's got some capacitance to it as well, but not as much as the wire stretched out in full length. So, yes. Okay. Good. Thank you. 